I'm Frank Melling, and I'm a really, really, really happy bunny. In the olden days, and it does seem a long time ago, I rode for BSA. I was BSA's last works rider. When they got rid of all the decent riders, they had me. And I've got BSA running through my heart. And so when I heard that there was going to be a new gold star, I was very, very skeptical. I was ready to come down here and have a real row if they didn't do the job properly. And to look at this, and to be quite honest, I'm chuffed to bits. It's not an old goldie, and I wouldn't want an old goldie in uh, 2022. That's not the solution. But what this bike is, is a DBD34's grandchild. And I just love it. I love the integrity of it. I love the honesty. It's not an imitation Goldie, and that's the most important thing. It's, it's a Goldie in its own right. When I spoke to Ashish, who's the chief exec here, and he's told me about the passion for the bike, and he's told me how much they ride it. He's told me the power outputs as well, and the good boys version, not for riders like me, uh, gives 46 horsepower and the bad boys version that they've got in India uh, has got over 90 horsepower so this is a quick old thing oh I never said that Ashish ignore that I wouldn't I wouldn't ever reveal secrets like that as you can see the bike looks very very honest I've just been looking at, at another um, old-fashioned brand and they've got some bikes there that look like, I don't know what they look like, they look like Transformer toys. This bike isn't. It's clearly not a Goldie, but I like the fact that although it's water-cooled, uh, the team have kept the integrity of, of a big single. This tank here is not a Gold Star tank. It's not intended to be a gold star tank. It's flatter. Ideal when you're filming yourself surrounded by millions of admiring fans, you put a camera on there. But you can see where it came from, this lovely, lovely chrome. Oh, and by the way, the days have gone when people used to look at another Indian brand and say it was all made in a shed somewhere. This is a nicely finished bike. Nice chrome, nice pin lining. Obviously, it had to be a twin shock. Why wouldn't it be? But it's an honest twin shock as well. It's not a monoshock pretending to be a twin shock. I like this bit as well. The original BSA forks were complete. Um, this is a family show, so I'll be careful with what I say were completely less than ideal. But this overlapping uh, dust shroud here <coughs> is very, very, very BSA. I like the headlamp nacelle as well. That's very BSA. And I like the twin clocks. And I wouldn't like it if it had Lucas Electrics. You know, Joe Lucas, the Prince of Darkness. Apparently these lights work regularly, which is a big step forward. The uh, left-hand side of the bike, well, left-hand side if you drive uh, in a real country, is also very, very BSA-ish. This big-headed, big-finned um, cylinder head, yeah, it's sort of DBD34. Um, I'm not keen on this, I must admit. Um, with a set of sticky tyres on that, I have a funny feeling that wouldn't last very long with me riding. But I suppose it's the right thing for 2022. Clutch is feather light. I had to play with that because, you know, it's like um, a dog meeting a lamppost. Um, I didn't wee on the bike, but I just had to have a play with the clutch. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, I can operate the clutch. I like this seat as well. Very, very BSA-ish. And um, I'm going to ask our cameraman now to come in real close because this shows the love of the bike. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that absolutely lovely?
it's that care which makes you know inside the bike's going to work, work as well. There's no reason to put a Union Jack tab. There's no reason to put a tab, period. But in there, it shows that somebody somewhere has made an effort. And it's the effort and the care that excites me about this bike. The engine is a dry sump engine, which is very traditional. And so overall, it's a nice thing. So here's the killer question. Would I own one? Well, the last single that I saw mass sold didn't really do it for me. It was sort of okay, you know, like, yeah, it's okay. Would I want to be seen out on it? Nah, not really. If I had, I think it's 56 horsepower version of this, would I want to be seen out on it? Yeah, you bet I would. I really fancy having a go on this. I fancy riding it. I fancy the looks. I fancy polishing it. And I also fancy looking at it and saying, you know, that's a real DBD 34, but a modernized version. Thanks for watching, everybody.